Hey everybody, just want to do a quick video to show you what I've found to be the best settings for Dreamcast on the uh, Plus. And I guess this will probably work for the H also. I just, again, I don't have the H. Um, so just let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so I'm going to use Marvel vs. Capcom 2 as an example. Uh, so before you launch the game, you can select your emulator. In case you didn't know that, push select on the game title and go to advanced system options. Once you're in there, the emulator of choice is available and you can pick, you know, there's a standalone Flycast uh, and then just your Libre Retro uh, Flycast. And this, this one here, Flycast VL is the one that um, I'm gonna recommend you uh, try out. So I'm gonna select that one, back out of this, and then just go ahead and launch the game. All right, so once you get into the game, you can actually go into your menu. And uh, so like right now, I can go ahead and hit your hot key and A. And you're gonna go down to core options. And you're looking for uh, DSP. So like right here, there it is, enable DSP. So that's defaulted to being on. My recommendation is you turn that off. And then maybe restart the game just to just to be on the safe side. But I already have it off. So we're just gonna go ahead and launch the game or continue with the game. Let's see how it goes. start up the game and I am using the uh, 8-bit dough Neo Geo control um, so I'd recommend that you actually just play like launch a game um, natively, however it's already set up, and then compare it to this uh, these couple of settings that I've uh, recommended. And I think you'll see a, a pretty good difference. So, I mean, this is actually playable, you know. Anyway, so that's just a quick look at uh, Dreamcast on the um, Plus. I'm just going to call it the Plus Man, RG35XX Plus. That's kind of a lot to say. But uh, when, I'm saying, when I say Plus, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, um, hit me up on the comments. But hopefully this will uh, help, help you get going on the Dreamcast. But yeah, like I said, it's really playable, so... I don't hear any like no, sound stuttering. I don't, really, I don't see any video issues. And this is outputting through HDMI, so um, I imagine playing on the handheld is gonna be even better or smoother, or at least as smooth. So anyway, yeah, enjoy.